Hello there everybody, this is Morris from sjoptions.com as well as optioncolors.com This class is brought to you by optioncolors.com It's a fantastic options analytical software. There's nothing like it on the market, I guarantee that. And I highly recommend that you get a live personal demo of option colors. It can certainly enhance your trading. It will help you find trading opportunities that are entirely invisible in other trading platforms. The tagline, Options Made Visible. In today's class, we're working on a series of um, stress tests of various option strategies over some bearish moves. Uh, first, we're looking at a price chart of the SPX. And we see from 1990 to 2000, we had a 10-year bullish run. And that was followed by a pretty serious pullback here uh, for a couple of years. Then from 2003 up to 2008, so we had about another a five-year bullish run. And then we ran into another serious market decline and all those profits were given away during that year since the beginning of 2009 until now we've had about an eight and a half year bullish move so as we trade options we have to be very careful and be aware of the next possible pullback because history repeats itself it's never exactly the same but we have to be aware so if we do have another pullback Perhaps we'll come down to this level. Uh, we could be coming back down to this. And if this point breaks, then watch out because you never know. We could end up back down here. The important thing is whatever strategy you're working with, you really want to make sure that you're fully aware of a couple things. Number one is your expected drawdown during that bearish move and also your changes in the margins especially if you're working with portfolio margin account so it's one thing that i find a lot of traders aren't necessarily aware of is how drastically your portfolio margins can change now as we go through this class we're going to be doing just that so i made some other videos in this one we're going to look at the calendar spread and it's very interesting because the calendar, a lot of traders think that it'll behave in a way to hedge an account because it has a positive Vega position. So it's really interesting to see how the calendar behaves in this particular market move. So we're going to be looking at, again, serious drop here in 2008. I've already set the calendar to... Um, September 26th, 2008, and then we're going to be looking at this calendar. So as I move over to the risk profile, I already have the calendar built here. Down here on the bottom right, we can see our portfolio margin requirement. It's starting with 38,000. Top right, you have the date. And over here, you're going to be able to see your what I call the bar, which is the gray line. It's your trade at expiration. And your step line, which is your current profit and loss on the trade. So let's keep an eye on those as we advance forward in time on this counter spread during that bearish move. Let's note a few things from uh, the first move here. We see that there's already a change in the margin. So notice it's at 49. Wait, let me go back to the beginning. So I started this trade here on uh, the 26th. And we see the margin down there is 38,000. Advance a day forward. And lo and behold, the SPX drops 8.81% which I can see over here. And with the one day drop, we have a new margin of 74,000. 
and the current trade is down 17,000. Go backwards again, 38,000 margin to start the trade, 74,000 margin. Again, you can see on the bottom right here, the day after. So the margin pretty much doubled in one single day. Now again, this is just an interesting study because now as we look down here at the Greeks, we can see that the calculator vega for this trade it's 4,683 points of positive vega. And so this is why a lot of traders would actually deploy this type of strategy for a bearish market, thinking that they'll make a lot of money here from the vega position. But one thing that you learn in our course is that although your time spreads present themselves as positive vega, they don't always behave as a positive vega trade. And here's an example of that. Another day down here, or another day forward on the trade, and, and we move up, and trade recovers. It's up a little bit here. Um, the margin is uh, 49,000. Let me go backwards again so we can keep better track of how these margins are changing. So we're starting at 38, which we can see on the bottom right, and then we go to 74, and we go to 49. Next day we move back down, and the margin's at 69, and the trade's starting to lose again. Now, with these moves down, and well, I guess we didn't see it, but it, with the move down, the volatility is typically moving up. So you would think the trade would profit from that positive vega, but the delta position is losing more. It has a very strong negative gamma on the trade. As we advance a few more days here, uh, we're seeing that the margin is now 79,000. Trade's down 13,000. And then we get a substantial move down, a little bit over 5%. And again, what's noteworthy is now the margin, after just about 10 days into the trade, is up to 105,000. So we started with a margin of 38, and it's already at 105. So that represents an increase in margins of 276%. We'll also notice that the trade's now $50,000 when the original margin was only 38000 So it's already lost more than the original margin was in just 10 days. And then we'll advance a couple more days here. And then the market continues down, as you can see. The trade is now down um, 79% for 87000 And the margin is at 110 So let's stop the study here. It's not going to get much worse than that. That's about as bad as this trade would get. But we do see that the margins increased 113,000. We started with 38, so 113 divided by the 38 is a margin increase of 297%. And the trade sustained a loss of 73%. At least the drawdown there. So, again, let's just summarize. So, this was a calendar position with a very strong Vega attribute to the trade. But even though this trade did possess positive Vega, as we went down, the positive delta of the trade lost more than the trade made from the Vega. But it's a little bit more complex than that. Um, you're dealing with two different months. And if you break it down into the the contracts and the behavior of that front month compared to the back month, then you could get a more precise analysis of exactly what happened. But the fact is, even though a trade may present itself as Pazza Vega, it doesn't always behave that way. This was just a good example. So keep that in mind. If you're trying to hedge your account and you think you're doing so by putting in a calendar 
in there like this one. This was just an at the money calendar. Just because it's Pause of Vega doesn't necessarily mean it's going to make a profit. So I'll leave you with that. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Hope it keeps you safe. That's what this is all about. Once again, this is Morris from sgoptions.com. And we're here to teach traders a safer way to trade. Make sure you're fully aware of the risk you're taking on. And we design trades that deal better with portfolio margin and behave better with these volatility shifts. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and enjoy the rest of your day.